It's important to understand that the quality of your pictures is affected by the color of the surrounding light and how the camera's electronics process that light. Compensating for varying light conditions is referred to as setting the white balance. Most light looks white to an untrained eye, but it can be composed of a range of different colors. For example, the color of sunlight is different in daylight, in the shade, or in cloudy conditions. Daylight, for example, is fairly blue, and fluorescent light is fairly red. If your camera is set to shoot in daylight, but you're shooting in tungsten light, your image will look overly yellow, sometimes red. Proper camera white balance takes into account the color temperature of a light source, which refers to the relative warmth or coolness of white light. Human eyes are very good at judging what is white under different light sources. However, digital cameras often have difficulty determining auto white balance, or AWB. Incorrect white balance can create unattractive color casts that are unrealistic and damaging to your pictures. The white balance scale is expressed in measurements of Kelvin. The higher color temperatures measured in the area of 7500 Kelvin to 5600 Kelvin represent lighting conditions like a sunlit or partially cloudy day. These shooting situations have a greater amount of bluish tones and a lesser amount of reddish tones. Lower color temperature situations are measured in the area of 3200 Kelvin down to 1900 Kelvin. These light colors come when light is given from a tungsten light bulb or candle light. These types of shooting situations are found on the lower end of the spectrum and produce a greater amount of reddish or yellowish tones and a lesser amount of bluish tones. Once you get acquainted with the camera's preset white balance settings, you can try setting your own by using the camera's custom white balance feature. You can learn how to do this on your particular camera by consulting your camera's manual or by finding other reference material like Quick Pro Camera Guide's tutorials. To use this tool effectively, you'll have to learn what white balance setting is most effective for each situation and for your specific camera. Understanding the digital white balance settings will help you improve your overall picture quality. Learning about white balance can help you better determine what your lighting situation will do for the color tones of your picture. You can set a custom white balance or use a preset to match the color of the light you're shooting in.